Hey guys, it's Alexis aka The Sloth Reader and I'm here today to do the August monthly recommendation video. August is celebrating the one month anniversary of the entire group. So basically it was just a thing where you could do past month's challenges and then you pick your favorite read of those and you do a recommendation. So I haven't been here for the whole year so I thought it would be a good chance for me to recommend some books in the categories that were already done. So I will just go ahead and get into it. The first one is to recommend an underrated book, and for that I'm going to recommend The Dust of a Hundred Dogs by A.S. King. I absolutely love this book. This is one of my all-time favorite books, and I don't think I know a single other person who even like knows about this book. A lot of people know A.S. King, but not a lot of people have read this one. And so basically this tells the story of a pirate in the 1600s, and as she is like bur burying her like greatest treasure she gets cursed to live a hundred years or a hundred lives as a dog until finally be reincarnated as a human and so it goes back and forth between her first original life and her new life as a human again um, and also her past lives as a dog and um, this book definitely is gritty um, it does have several trigger warnings in it but I do absolutely love this book and um, and it just enraptured me from the first page, and I just love it. The next is to recommend a trilogy, and I'm going to recommend my all-time favorite trilogy, which is the Hollow Kingdom trilogy by Claire B. Dunkel. This is actually a companion trilogy, so each of the books follows a different main character, but they all are completely woven together um, in how the stories build off of one another. And basically it's about these three human girls and their interactions with these group of goblins and elves in this like um, in this Great Britain countryside and it's just really good and I really love it and it's the only book series I've ever reread so for that reason I do highly recommend it. Next is to recommend a fantasy read and for that I'm going to recommend the Shades of Magic series by B. E. Schwab. B. E. Schwab is one of my favorite writers and this was the first book I ever read by her and I became completely enamored. It basically tells the story of alternate dimensions. There are these four different Londons and it follows Kel who is an Antari. Basically so he has like very special powers that allow him to travel between these alternate dimensions and it also follows Delilah Bard who is a street rat who basically gets caught up in Kel and the world of magic and basically just the trouble that the two of them get into and I just really highly recommend this series. It's so good. Next is to recommend a standalone and I'm going to recommend Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and Jim Kay inspired by the idea from Siobhan Dowd and this book is just magical. I really related to it on a personal level because it deals with grief and loss and sickness and it just was a story that highly resonated with me personally but Patrick Ness is also a phenomenal storyteller and him paired with Jim Kay's drawings are just absolutely breathtaking and they're such a phenomenal team and together they really sell the story and I highly recommend it, especially it's very short, you should read it before the movie comes out. Next I'm going to recommend a survival story and I'm going to recommend The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. This is a zombie apocalypse survival story so um, of course I had to recommend it because I love zombie apocalypse survival stories, but this tells the story of Mary and basically she lives in this gated community that keeps out the zombies and one day her village is overrun and she has to basically leave and go down these gated walkways to try and find salvation and it's just about what it means to try and survive in the zombie apocalypse while still trying to be human and I highly highly recommend it for people who love zombie stories because it's really good and I think Carrie Ryan does a phenomenal job at building really likable and relatable characters. Next is to recommend a book with one of my favorite friendships and for that I'm going to choose The Glendower Gang or The Gangsy from The Raven Cycle Quartet by Maggie Stiefvater. The relationships between all of these characters is just one of the things that makes this book series so phenomenal because they're all unique and individual and the characters are all one of a kind and so like the relationship between Adam, Adam and Gansey, Gansey and Ronan and Blue and Noah and Noah and Ronan, they're all different 
and they all just suck you in and you just you want to be a part of this group of friends so bad and I think that that is why I would say it's my favorite friendship because I want to be part of this group of friends. I want to be able to ride in the pig with them and go hunt for ley lines and I just I want to be part of this clique so bad. Next is to recommend a book set outside of the US and I'm going to recommend Between Shades of Grey by Rudis Petties. Um, this story is a historical fiction story set during World War II that tells the story of the Lithuanian genocide when the Soviets went into Lithuania and basically rounded up all the Lithuanians that they deemed to be like political dissidents and basically shipped them on train cars to Siberia to work in labor camps. And Ruta Sepeti, she does a phenomenal job of capturing the brutality without being overwhelming and she captures the hope and the beauty of the struggle of these group of people and how they never lost their love for each other or lost their dreams that someday it would all end and the characters your heart just bleeds for them and i just strongly recommend it i strongly recommend it it's a really great read and the author's note at the end will have you in tears finally is to recommend a book set in school and for that one i'm going to recommend fangirl by rainbow rowell the reason I'm going to recommend this one in particular is because the school setting really plays an important role in this story. This of course tells the story of Kath, who is going into her first year of college, and she's a really introverted fangirl who kind of is obsessed with this Simon Snow um, franchise, which is very similar to like the Harry Potter of this world. And so basically she's really obsessed with it, and she writes fan fiction, and she has a bunch of fan art and posters. And she basically is learning to let go of that, which it features as a safety blanket for her, and kind of coming out of her shell and being more social. And the school aspect really plays a big part of it because Kath is in a creative writing class. And the setting and the college lifestyles in general really plays a huge part in the story, so that's why I chose this one. Alright, so that was my August Recommends video. Um, these were actually really fun. I'm really enjoying being part of this group and I'm really interested to see what our future topics are going to be, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye!